สวัสดีค่ะ Welcome to Hot Thai Kitchen. I'm going to share with you a dessert recipe today that is the epitome of rustic, simple home cooking. It's something called g l u y b u t c h i and it's bananas simmered, almost poached in coconut milk, and it's so so delicious. Now, this is something that my grandmother would always make whenever our banana trees in the backyard. Bore fruit, and if you know anything about banana trees, you know that all the fruit come out all at once, and suddenly you end up with an enormous amount of bananas that needed to be consumed. So this was one of the things that we would always make whenever that happens. And if you see how easy and delicious it is, you'll know why it's a go-to recipe. So let's get started. So I didn't forget your Thai lesson. กล้วยบวชชีกล้วย means bananas and บวชชี means to become a nun. They name it like that is because in Thailand becoming a nun means that you start wearing all white. And so what we're gonna do is we're gonna take bananas and putting them in a white sauce. Now traditionally we use กล้วยน้ำวา which is a different kind of bananas for this recipe. I can't find fresh กล้วยน้ำวา here in Vancouver, so I'm gonna use baby bananas. They work super super well, and I kind of actually prefer these to the other ones. So These are perfectly good to eat when they're yellow like this, and this is actually the color you want for this recipe. Not overripe, not underripe, like this. How cute are these? Now this one I'm gonna sacrifice just to show you the flesh. See how brightly yellow the flesh is? Ah, oh, so good. Mm. So I'm just gonna peel these and then leave them whole. I'm gonna make my broth, my coconut broth. I've got some coconut milk going in, and some water. All coconut milk's just a little bit too rich. Now you can change the ratio between water and coconut milk depending on whether you want this to be light or rich. I'm doing half and half, which I find the perfect ratio. Sugar. I'm gonna add just about three tablespoons, but this is again something you can customize. You can make it sweeter, less sweet. This is a great thing about a dessert soup, which is kind of what this is. Is it's very, very flexible. And now a little pinch of salt, saltiness to balance that richness and sweetness, and it goes together really well. Salty and sweet and coconut milk. Mm -mm -mm. And now I'm adding some pandan leaf. Now I use pandan leaf. All the time, and <laughs> I'm using it again because this is our vanilla. We use it to flavor so many of our desserts. Now, if you are in Thailand and you or in a place where you can get freshly squeezed coconut milk, you may not need the pandan leaves because you want the flavor of that fresh coconut milk and the bananas to shine through. But I find that using commercially packaged coconut milk, it's not as aromatic. So a little pandan leaf really helps jazz it up a little bit. All right, the bananas are going in. Notice, I am not waiting for this to heat up at all. I want the bananas to heat up together and gently cook so that the outside of the bananas don't become mushy. So I'm gonna let that slowly come to a simmer. So after the broth has come to what I would describe as a rapid simmer, so not a full boil, but not lazy bubbling, just. A rapid simmer. <laughs> Turn it down and keep it simmering gently for five minutes. Now you don't really want to stir these, but I like to. Turn them over about halfway through because they tend to float, and then the top part doesn't get covered. I know some of you are going to ask, can you use regular bananas for this? And the answer is yes, you can. However, you have to be even more careful because those mush up really quickly. Okay, so be watchful of them and err on the side of Regular bananas that are a little bit too green to eat, I find those work better than ones that are perfectly ripe. Oh, the smell! I wish you could smell this pot right now. Coconut and bananas, it's like Thailand in a pot. So after about five minutes of slow simmering, what I like to do is turn it off and then just let the bananas sit. In this liquid for another 10 minutes or so, because I find that that extra time allows the flavor exchange to happen more fully. It's too hot to serve now, anyway. The flavor of the coconut is going into the bananas, but the flavor of the bananas are also going into the coconut milk. And when you serve it, the coconut milk becomes something entirely different. It is so good; it's really hard to describe. So be patient, and we'll be back in 10 minutes. 
Ooh, they are ready to serve. By the way, this is one of those things that's better tomorrow. So if you can make it a day ahead of time. Mm -mm -mm. And the banana should be soft. A little of the broth. Yes, you want to drink that broth. So good. Mm. It's like a smile. All right. Ooh. Oh, and the bananas become so soft. Mm. Oh, so good. The bananas basically dissolve in your mouth. It has become so soft and juicy. And the coconut milk takes on a fruity quality from the banana. It's really, really amazing the way it does that. And again, tomorrow, this will be even better. So have a little patience, make it a day in advance. Oh, and serve this warm, so good warm. It's like the most soothing, comforting dessert ever. And how much easier could that be? You boil bananas in coconut milk, done. So I hope you give this recipe a try. This right here, is the spirit of simple home cooking in Thailand. It does not get more authentic than this, and it's so easy too. So the recipe, as always, will be on hotthaikitchen.com. When you make it, send me a photo on Facebook, Twitter, or Instagram, and subscribe to the show if you haven't done so, so you don't miss an episode, and I will see you next time for your next delicious Thai meal.